Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of the Rails API series. In this episode, we're going to be implementing another uh, endpoint from our uh, on our Rails API. Uh, so basically, let's take a look at what we have. So I skipped ahead a little bit in terms of our front end, but I didn't skip anything that was really important. A lot of the things that I did off screen was things that I've already implemented before. So uh, in the next React Foundation episode, I'm going to walk you guys through uh, what it is that I changed. So if you take a look at the app right now, I've changed the organization's index a little bit. Uh, it's got a little bit of style. And now I can click on each individual organization to go to the organization show page. Now, uh, the code base is it's a lot of repetition. So it's already stuff that we've done before. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is in the next episode, I'm going to walk you guys through how all this uh, is working. Uh, and I'm just going to briefly mention the code and anything of note that I need to mention. So let's get into it. So I'm going to head over into the code over here. So you can see here, uh, you know, I can go to the organization show page and I have uh, what we have over here. Now, what I really want to do here is I want to um, make the request to the show. So let's take a look at the, the code base on the, the client side over here. So I'm going to close out the server for a second and go into the app pages, uh, organization show. So this is a new component I created. And what I did here is I created an uh, this to organizations and uh, I did a, a call called find by and this call basically takes a parameter organization ID. So the organization ID is coming from the parameter. It's this number two over here. That's organization ID. So that's, uh, you know, I added that in our router um, over here. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go into more detail in the React Foundation episode. But for now, just understand that we're, we're making a call that requires us to kind of like show the organization. Uh, so right now, if I go to this page, I'm going to go to the inspect element. Uh, and let's take a look at the network. I do a reload real quick. So you'll see that it's making the call here to the API uh, organization two, and we're getting a 404 because we haven't implemented the show endpoint just yet. So I'm going to head over into the code over here. Now I'm going to head over into the invoiced uh, API in the organization controller right here. I'm going to implement the def show. And here I'm going to do organization current account dot organization dot where uh, ID. So I can also use a find. Let's do a find uh, params ID. All right, so now this will give us the organization. So I'm just going to do a buy bug just to be sure. So I'm going to do a reload real quick and uh, it should pause our server. It did it. Actually, we we have um, the endpoint, but now we just need to add a route. So I'm going to go to the routes RB and add a show over here. All right, so we made the call. Now it's giving us a 500. So now it says organization, undefined method organization. Uh, so let's take a look at the endpoint. So it's organizations dot find. So now it should do a buy bug. It should pause our execution. So there we go. So let's take a look at organization. So right. So now it found the organization as some org. So uh, why do we need an organization show page? So the organization show page is going to be kind of like a mini dashboard for the organization. So it's going to show all kinds of stuff. Like it's going to go, you know, eventually it's going to have more stuff, but right now it's going to be pretty simple. Right now it's going to have a place where we can see kind of like all the contacts listed um, for this organization. Uh, the cool thing is because this is invoicing CRM, it would be nice to have their show page where when I go to the show page, I can see the contacts for this organization. Um, and I can also see the actual invoices that are going on in this organization over here. You know, I'm just going to implement the endpoint real quick. For now, it's going to be pretty simple. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a render show locals organization status. Okay, so this is going to render our view. Uh, so over here, I'm going to do a show dot json dot jbuilder. All 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very similar to the create. So for now, I'm just going to copy everything from the create over to the show. And I'm going to do a frozen string literal true. So that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to do for now. Um, let's see how this works. So I'm going to exit from by bug and do a reload real quick. So everything should be fine. So now we should be getting a 200. So now um, the, the client side now has access to the correct data. If I go to look at the response over here, you'll see I have some org, blah, blah, blah. So um, what I'm going to do next is we, um, let's take a look at the endpoint. So what I'm going to do next is if I go to the routes over here, uh, we have a, we need to be able to allow to show the, the contacts for this organization's, uh, you know, in the show page. And basically, we need to be able to allow to create the contact as well. So uh, we're going to have a contacts. So this one is kind of like the list out of all the contacts, regardless of any organization. And we need to be able to create the organization under the specific, uh, create the contact under the specific organization. So if I click over here, uh, I'm now in the, uh, you know, the, the show page where I can see all the different contacts in this organization. So I don't have, I don't plan on having like, you know, millions of uh, contacts for each organization. Maybe each organization will have the maximum of 10 or 20 or 25. So I'm not considering doing any pagination. So what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to pull out the, or the contacts for this organization in the show page. So I'm going to head over here. So now we're pulling this organization, uh, and this is kind of like the base um, one that we're going to use. Uh, it's it's coming from the create. Uh, but what we want to do is extend this a little bit and do a JSON dot contacts do so organization dot contacts do. So actually, this is going to be an array. So array. All right, so array, and then we're going to do um, contact. All right, so we're going to have a, uh, a contacts over here. Uh, and this is basically the relationship for um, the organization. So inside of the organization, we're going to display all the contacts inside of an array. So uh, let's try this out. So I wonder if we can use the contact partial here. I guess we could, right? So we can reuse a lot of the code that we already have. So I'm going to head over into the show over here and do a JSON dot partial v1 uh, contacts slash contact, contact, contact. All right, so let's give this a whirl. So I'm going to head over here, do a reload real quick. So we got a an OK. So we have the contacts array over here. We have no contacts right now. Uh, but our endpoint should be returning the correct contact. So this is pretty cool because we're now um, kind of like inheriting what we had over here with the create. So when we first create the organization, uh, we're not going to need to render uh, the the contacts. But once we show it, we might want to display the contacts as an array. So here we go. So now we have the contacts being displayed in an array. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for this episode. Right now, we can now render the contacts organize uh, the or, the con uh, the contacts organization the the contacts of the organization that we're rendering out in the show page in here and we can reuse the partial uh, we already had as well so uh, now we have everything we need so in the next episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to jump over into the React Foundation to take advantage of this new endpoint we just created. Um, so this is a free episode uh, from the Rails API series. So if you're interested in uh, creating uh, APIs using Rails, uh, check out our entire series, uh, become a member to get access to everything. Uh, so you don't miss a beat. Uh, and with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll also subscribe to help us increase that number. Uh, and also become a member to share your support. Uh, see you guys in the next episode.